what is up guys welcome to another video in today's video I am going to walk you guys through exactly how it is that you install mods into your Skyrim special edition I'm gonna be showing you how to manually install the mods um, and that is actually taking the mod files and dragging them into your Skyrim data folders um, and installing the mods manually now when I say manually I say that because there is a thing called Nexus Mod Manager uh, and basically what this is is it is a program that you can download on your computer and it will basically automatically download and install all of the mods for you automatically when you download them straight from this website um, so if you want that if you wanna use that program because you're not into manually uh, doing it that's fine you can go and download this here. I will have the link to all of the websites and programs that I use in the description box. So you can go download this right here and as you can see, this program allows you to install mods for all of these games. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can go about installing the mods manually because some mods do not have the option to download them through the mod manager. So what you're gonna do is first you want to go to your Skyrim folder. You wanna get familiarized with that. So you're gonna go into your computer's files and you're gonna locate your Steam folder. Now this is gonna be in a different spot for everybody. I'm just gonna to navigate to where mine is. So once you get into your Steam folder right here, you want to go to Steam apps and then you're gonna to wanna to go into common and you can see these are all your games. Now, you're gonna to wanna to click Skyrim Special Edition, and then before you do anything else, once you locate the Skyrim Special Edition folder, I recommend you taking it right here and dragging it over to the side, just like this, until it says pin to quick access, just like that, and then pinning it. I already have it pinned, as you can see right here. So when I open up this folder like this, I could just click Skyrim Special Edition, and I'm straight to the folder if I want to install any mods. Now, there is a folder in here called mods. That's not the one you're gonna want to go into. You're gonna wanna go into the data folder. This is gonna be where you're installing all of your mods. So you can see all of the mods that I have installed into my Skyrim right here. If you want a list of all of the mods that I have installed, I have a video on my channel. Uh, it's like a beginner's type mod pack. It uh, improves the graphics a bit and adds some pretty good uh, immersive mods just for the beginning of the game when you're still playing and you want sort of a vanilla experience but some mods mixed in there so i have that on my channel if you guys want to go take a look at that uh so once you have this folder you're gonna want to leave this and you're gonna want to go install the mods that you want to install so to do that you're gonna go to skyrim special edition on nexus mods i'm also going to have this website uh, linked in the description this website nexus mods has mods for a ton of games uh, If you go to their homepage, you could see the list of all the games that they have mods for but for today We are looking at Skyrim So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install a nice easy mod called ECEE sliders for race menu basically what this mod does is it um, Gives you slider options when you create your character so you could more customize your character and stuff like that so what you're gonna want to do if you have the Nexus mod manager you would download vortex you would click this link or something that says Nexus mod manager depending on if the mod has it you would click that and it would automatically install into your Nexus mod manager but for today's video where I'm gonna show you how to do it manually so you would go over here and you would click the manual download as you can see I already have it downloaded so I'm not gonna do that oh actually I could just download it again why not so I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Okay, so once you have that done, as you can see, here is the file. You're going to also want to install WinRAR if you don't have that already. I will leave a link in the description box as well to WinRAR. It is just a program that unpacks files for PC. Uh, so you're gonna to wanna to click the file and as you can see, this is everything that's in the this type of mod. Now, every mod is going to be different. Um, usually, if a mod has a more in-depth way to install it, 
it will have a readme text. So if a mod that you download has a readme text in side of this folder you're gonna want to click double click that and open it and read the entire readme text because usually they have instructions on how to install the mod if there are any spe specific uh, instructions for the most part when you install a mod you're basically just gonna want to take all of the files that are in the mod folder and drag them into your data folder so as you can see for this mod we have interface and message meshes so all we're gonna do is highlight everything that's in the mod folder and we are going to take them and drag them over to the Skyrim data folder. Make sure when you do this you don't highlight any of the folders like this because then you will be dragging them into this folder and that will not install the mod correctly. You want to make sure that all the files are being dragged into the data folder and to do that you're going to want to put your mouse over here on the white section, the clear section of the folder and just drop them in like that. Now I already have this mod installed, so it's telling me to replace the files. But for you, because you're not going to be installing a mod that you already have installed, right? Because then there would be no purpose to that. Uh, this is not gonna pop up. It's just automatically gonna move the files into the folder. Sometimes for specific mods that are maybe replacing uh, graphics files uh, or replacing any files for that matter it will say replace if this box does pop up you just want to hit replace the files so basically what's happening uh, there is like if you are installing a texture pack for the game that improves certain textures it's going to be replacing the original texture files so that uh, prompt is going to come up to replace it it's fine just click replace and let it do its job so there you go. That is how you install the mod. So now this mod will be installed into your Skyrim. And that is it. So if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave it in the comments or send me a private message. Uh, you can also go follow me on Twitter. That will be in the description box, box as well along with all my other social medias and everything like that. So I hope this video helped you guys out for anyone that did not know how to install mods into Skyrim, and that's how you do it the manual way, without any mod managers or anything. Pretty simple for the most part. It just gets harder when you have to start reading readme text files uh, that come along with the mod, but for the most part, the instructions are straightforward in those files, and usually it's not too hard. It's usually just you have to drag all of the files into the data folder. So again, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you guys. If you uh, enjoyed it or you found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be bringing you some more content and more tutorial videos in the future, so stay tuned and have a nice day.